This video was funded by Maker Studios. I'm Graham Hamilton, and you're watching The Pipeline, my chance to explore the tip of the iceberg when it comes to video games and their creators. Today I'm meeting with Nels Anderson in Vancouver, Canada. I interrupted Nels while he was working on Firewatch, the debut game from his new studio, Campo Santo. Prior to forming Campo Santo, Nels was working as a lead designer at Clay Entertainment, one of Vancouver's most successful studios. I was curious what would compel him to leave such an enviable position at such a critical point in his career. Like, when I joined Clay, it had already been around for quite some time, right? So all that initial, like, what is this organization going to be? Like, all that stuff was already, it was done, right? Mm -hmm. If it wasn't this game with these people, I would still be there. Yeah. Um, it's not like it's not like I left because I was unhappy with what we were yeah, doing or yeah. whatever. Like leaving a stable place to to help start a new organization mm -hmm. is never a good idea ever. Yeah. But if there's ever a chance where it will be like the least bad idea, now is probably that time. Yeah. Like I would like to see you know kind of what it is like to build an organization, sort of out of to be part of an organization that's growing literally from nothing. Yeah. Um, and that's been, yeah, like, super interesting and informative and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Campo Santo has a strange working arrangement. While several of the team members work together in San Francisco, others, like Nels, have to convene electronically from around the world. This decentralized work environment was something that Nels and his collaborators had to build from the ground up. The thing was, I left Clay in August of 2013, um, but Campo, as like they didn't get the office in San Francisco, they didn't actually start making a real thing until like January 2014. So it was kind of four months there where we we're just like doing lots of planning and setup. That was weird, yeah. right? Because it's kind of like, I guess I just keep working until I'm done. Oh, but the dishes. Ooh. Oh, I, I guess I should take a shower. Maybe I'll take the dog for a walk. That was the period where it felt like the uh, working from home stories that people tell. That's where that felt nuts. Yeah. And then as soon as we had the setup with the video screen in San Francisco, then it was, it was almost the same as just being in an office again. Right. It was just in an office where I leave the office by hitting close on the webcam. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Like the setup we have now is in the office in San Francisco, there's just a big ass TV at the end of the at the end of the room, because it's just basically yeah. like one room, like the room where everybody works in, and there's a smaller meeting room, right? So in the main room where everybody works is just like a big ass TV at the end of the room, and we just use a video conferencing thing that just runs all day, every day. And we're all in the same time zone, right? So it's just kind of like about nine o'clock, everybody's rolling into the office, so I just jump on there, turn on my webcam, so yeah. I just have like weird telepresence face. Obviously right now is we're in like, final, oh God, just do everything mode, then I just work whenever, or all yeah. the time. I don't think anyone describes the end of any creative project as like, oh, it was just chill, yeah. just like coasted in, and it was no big <laughs> deal. Nobody does that, no. <laughs> that's right. When we come back, we'll find out more about Firewatch itself and learn what milestone the team is preparing for right now. As fascinating as Campo Santo is, my real interest was in why this team would take on the particular challenge that is Firewatch. At first, I assumed the game would be built out of the team's previous experience, but that's not the way Nels sees it. But like, actually we are making a thing that will one day resemble this real video game. Yeah. Began when we all came back from Christmas, January 2014. We have the stock install of Unity. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. So there's the whole like, we don't know really what game we're making. I mean, like, obviously we understand the premise and like what we want, the interactions, whatever the game to feel like. But like, and a lot of first year was figuring that stuff out and building all the actual technology, infrastructure, foundational stuff to actually build the rest of the game on top of. So Firewatch is kind of like 25% a bunch of games we've worked on, but it's not 100% anything anybody has ever worked on before, really. Um, so it was a lot of being like, like Jake and neither Jake nor I had ever done level design in 3D, right? Um, so it's kind of like, we just sort of had to figure that crap out. Um, I'd never worked on a first person game, so it's like, just gotta figure that stuff out. So there's there was a lot of that kind of stuff. 
none of us had really shipped the game in Unity before, so there was that learning. I mean, obviously, it's like it's like kind of familiar, but it still has its own uh, quirks and foibles. Let's put it that way. <laughs> From what I've seen of Firewatch, it looks like the team has easily surmounted those quirks and foibles to produce something truly special. Knowing that Nels had been working immediately before I arrived, I asked him what the team was currently working on. When the game comes out February 9th. Um, it comes out on Steam and PS4 simultaneously, and to release a game on a console, you have to go through the certification process, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It usually takes about four to six weeks. But that means we need, like, the game has to, for all intents and purposes, be done, like, done, done, a month before it comes out, right? Mm -hmm. So February 9th, you roll back a month, you're, like, beginning of January, right now it's the end of December, so we're like, yeah, eh, this is it! Yeah, this, <laughs> this is your is last... final, just, like, yeah. fix everything, occasionally there's, like, a couple things It's like... Maybe we can tweak this little tiny thing to make it a little bit better. Things like that that are not in any way glamorous yeah. or exciting or yeah. interesting. Just, just yeah. the gross, busy work of finaling any video game. So it's like, well, I hope what's theirs so the thing will be polite, because that's yeah. it. That is what exists. <laughs> so let's just make sure that it doesn't like drive itself off the rails. Yeah. We made the game we wanted to make. Given the number of people who worked on it, it feels quite substantial in a way that I think is surprising. Um, if people want what's in it, they will like it. If they think it's not what it is, then they will probably be sort of sad. <laughs> Nels is a fantastic designer, and if I had enough time to visit the other members of the Campo Santo team, you'd see for yourself how this ragtag group of industry veterans have managed to build the most exciting new studio out of thin air. Firewatch is about to be released, and will soon have the opportunity to enjoy the fruits of their labor. But has the team given any thought to what lies beyond Firewatch? We have no idea. <laughs> Literally, we have talked. There's no like, all right, so for for Firewatch 2, Stormwatch, <laughs> you're in a lighthouse. No, there's just like, no one has thought about any of that. It's just, it is literally just get Firewatch done. Yeah. And we'll see. <laughs>